il a une erreur. It has been said that in times before there was nothing but darkness in the sky and people spent a long time inside sitting on their sleeping bench and staring at each other in the eye. Sometimes this life of spending time inside sitting in darkness that people would get angry with how poor they were. At that point, they would decide to throw a party. A party where all sorts of games were played. Games for boys, games for girls, for men, for women, for families. One such game was called the dimming of the lights. You see, a that works with a wick, and when you dampen that wick, all the light that comes out is murky. You can't see what is happening on the other side of the room, and you can only just make out what your own hand is doing. When they played the dimming of the lights game, any fantasy went. Any sexual fantasy that you had, you were allowed to follow. You could swim, swipe, so you could switch spouses. You could change genders. You could do things to animals. You could even sit in the middle of the room, tickle yourself with a feather. Anything but. One woman noticed that over the years that she played the game, the same man kept coming to her to play the sexual games. She had a bad feeling about this. But she couldn't find out who he was because when the lights came back up, it was taboo to say or to hear or to see anything that had to do with the game. But this woman, full of foreboding, had to find out into the cold cushion, the cold lamp, so that they were covered with black suit. And sure enough, the same man came to her. And they made love. And they held each other. And she stroked her black fingers across his face so that he was marked. that 
It was her own brother with a street with black soot across his face. She was so disgusted and sick and angry that she could have let this happen for years. She had to get away. She packed herself a small bag and she took a torch and dipped it deep into the oil drum by the door and lit it so that it was bright and she took off into the darkness of the tundra. Her brother saw her run and still lusting after her decided to chase except he didn't have enough time to pack anything. He only just barely got his torch lit and he ran. The brother and the sister ran as hard as they could across that dark, dark tundra. One full of hate and anger and the other full of lust and want. Their run was so passionate that they began to lift off the ground and they flew up into the sky and the sister became the sun and the brother became Aninga, the moon. The two of them are always running. Sometimes they pass by earth and coincidental times and sometimes one darkens the other. Thank you.